evening and welcome to Video View, the show where you sit back and relax as I take on some of the greatest musical minds of our time with their choice of what's recently been offered up to entertain and enliven the masses. Now the videos we're looking at tonight are the choice of Susie of the Banshees, who behind ABBA are the second most, succe <laughs> are the second most successful mixed <laughs> pop group in the charts in history. Now then, for the last year, Where they have... Where did you get that from? I don't know, I dug that out. In fact, your PR company, I think. They, um, we haven't got a PR company. We need one. Billy over there, then. Oh, Billy will do. The PA, personal assistant. It was in a, in a record magazine. And for the last year, they've been lying dormant in the lush Sussex countryside and have just emerged from their cottage to enter the charts at number 30 with the new single, Peekaboo. So, Susie, we've always sort of like welcomed you tonight, Network. So we'll get straight on with... What have you been doing in the Sussex countryside with Budgie and the boys? Budgie and the boys, well, we've been uh, keeping away from rehearsal rooms, London, touring and everything, and um, to write the best have album been, we've have done. You, have you been leading the life of the village local? Have you been, like, hiding behind closed curtains and locked doors and freaking out the milkman? <laughs> no, we've, we've been uh, sort of going for walks and things like that and going on processions at Guy Fawkes Night. And... Have you been to any barn dances whilst you were out there? No, no. Because no. it's just, uh, just uh, I listened to the album and track four, side one. Oh, you thought one, there was a hoedown? There's a lot there. of hoedown, a bit of country and western in there's there. What? Well, don't give it away. Oh, sorry, no, mustn't. <laughs> mustn't, no, no. But well, it's very west country, it's not really hoedown. Yeah, but it is a good album, isn't it? Of course it is. Mustn't mention the name of it yet, though, of course. Yes, you can. Yeah? Yeah. What is it? Uh, Peep Show. And when's it coming out? 5th of September. September. And the single doing jolly well on the charts as well. Well, I hope it does better. It's an interesting track. OK, Susie, well, let, let's get into some other people's work and get on to video number one tonight, which comes from Stump. It's their new single from the album of Fierce Pancake. Here they come with Charlton Heston. <laughs> <laughs> what a brilliant video. Yeah, that was a, a corker. That, that's, I mean, that is brilliant. That's, it's, the group really comes through, the characters come through. And um, the frogs and the toads, I mean, rather him than me starting yeah. off like that. And I noticed um, Tim Pope directed it. Yeah, well, he's done... He's a real sadist, you know. He loves putting people in situations that are a bit icky. Because I remember on Cities in Dust, um, he um, arranged this shot that, like, Budgie would jump in this vat of petrol and set fire to it. <laughs> <laughs> and it had all kinds of guns in it. And he, also the guitarist at the time, John Valentine Carruthers. And he didn't use the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done a lot of um, stuff for you, Tim Poe? Oh, mm, a few, about three, three He put the cure into, um, you know, into that wardrobe as well. In, um, well if Robert him. Smith was saying that was and very unpleasant. And they just eaten curries as yeah, well. Yeah, that's right, exactly. And, and drank a lot of lager as well. That's what yeah. I, I heard from Robert Smith. <laughs> That, that was a brilliant video. It's the best of the lot. Yeah, really well, the is. best comes first night. But what do you think about Stump themselves? I mean, have you listened to the album? No, I haven't. Uh, but um, Bud Budgie is a bit of a fan. He's, he's got, like, a, an album of theirs and a few things. I think there's sort of group you really want to like. You know, they've got everything going for them. They've got a great name. It's a great video, great album cover, nice haircut, mm. good singer and all that. But other than that track, I've really tried. It just sounds like a real musical mess. It's not... Oh, I'm not sure. I'm, I don't know. I mean, I think there'll be something to look out for, hopefully. Yeah, I think. I, well, I, I think by this, I, I just mm. was really impressed by it. And also, it's, um, it's one of those things that it's just really watchable. I mean, it's not so much got millions of things going on in it, but it's, it's such a brilliant idea, all those frogs and toads. Mm. And apparently there's been, um, I think I'd heard on the radio, uh, people have been found out wondering that, that the frogs and toads are being treated properly. Well, but I think they were adopted by the gu that guy out of Talk Talk. Well, actually, yeah, I mean, I, I, I wanted to find about, out about this as well because it's a you know, very close thing about conservation. Three frogs actually perished in the making of this video. One of them was squashed, the other one was eaten by a bigger frog, and one died of excitement. Now, 497 were released in the Talk Talk farm, as you said, and the other mm. 500 are running free in Chiswick Park. Ah, uh, so there we have a happy ending from the first of the um, videos we're looking at tonight. On that happy note, let's look at the second video we've got lined up to you tonight, which is a track called The Race from those Swiss masters of mechanical electro-funk Dieter Meyer and Boris Blank, alias Yellow. Well, that, I have to choose that for the two Garys in the band. They've become complete car fanatics. The two... Oh. Garys, it's Martin and Budgie. 
just into their cars completely. So did you all sit down and watch these videos together? No, no, no. I did it all on my own. But um, again, that is really... Uh, it's very much in keeping with the song. Um, simple. It's funny and it's well cut. And I like the ry rhythm of it. It's funny, yellow, I think, are brilliant, but I think they're really underrated over here. Yeah, they don't get... Uh, I haven't had that much exposure. I, I really was surprised that that Shirley Bassey single Rhythm Divine, yeah. with the Rhythm Divine wasn't a huge hit. And yeah. I, I really wish, you know, I mean, it's such a brilliant song. It might, I think it might have something to do, they don't ever play live, and I think that obviously does have a lot to do with selling records over here. Um, I, I don't know. It's like, they, you know, I don't know if um, they've always done videos. I mean, that's certainly watchable. I mean, especially now, I mean, Video. Yeah. He's a bit with Dieter Meyer, the guy with the moustache. He's a big filmmaker. Yeah. And the other guy, Boris, makes all the mechanical sounds and stuff. So do you reckon Dieter Meyer directed it? I think so, yeah. I tried to find out, but the record company wasn't telling. I don't know why. Hmm. But um, anyway, they're going to be in on the show, actually, on the 12th... On Friday the 12th of August, not long to go now. There's an album coming out for them called The Flag, which comes out... Hang on. Yeah, the flag comes out the first week in October, and that single's released on the 15th. Anything else we could say about Yellow before we... Um, I, I just wish them a success soon, that's all. Yeah, because they've, they been, they've been coming out, they've something. been going for ages. Actually, we bumped into them, they were at the same studio in Bavaria when we did the Thorn EP, so three or four years ago. <laughs> yeah. So they'd, they'd just been finishing some work, so... Wind it up. Wind it up. Yeah. OK, well then, we're going to wind it up and get on to video three now. Moments away from us, we have a recent signing to EMI's Capital Record label, an Edinburgh group called Goodbye Mr Mackenzie with their new single, Goodbye Mr Mackenzie. For a title or... Um... <laughs> well, it was a very good song and um, the, the video is really, really good colour, which um, when it goes to the black and white, it really is very effective. Mm. I actually prefer the black and white bits. Do you? Yeah, I know, it's always so much more artistic. I don't know, well, it's, it, I don't know, it's, it's, um, it's easy to do very stunning black and white. I think for colour to come across is very hard. Mm. There's always a lot of colour in your videos, isn't there? Except for the new one, in fact. Mm, we've sort of muted that quite a lot. But, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, what sorry, I liked sorry, about... Sorry, What I liked, I thought the guitarist and the backing singer were... That was the guy from The Exploited. Apparently. Big John. Apparently. Yeah, no, I, I, I just like, like the way it's a new, new band or... It's just, it's just something fresh and exciting. They obviously look like they're really keen about it as well. Is it? Yes. I mean, they all look sort of different, didn't they? I mean, yeah. from different musical backgrounds almost. Yeah. It's, it, I mean, it looks very much like their own band rather than, you know, what we're getting uh, for, forced down our throats with these sort of perfect little packages. Yeah. They're being hailed as Scotland's best live band. Well, so, I haven't seen them live, but... Yeah. Um, but, I mean, you know, one, people are obviously rating them higher than Simple Minds, etc. Well... Not hard to rate. What do you think about <laughs> Simple Minds at the moment? Not a lot. But, I mean, you know, I mean, so what? I mean, it's about time there was something new to be raving about anyway. Yeah. So, goodbye, Mr Mackenzie, looks like it's going to be around, you reckon? Well, that's notice. good, that's good anyway. Yeah. Okay, well look, we're going to go and take a break now. We'll see you with more videos from Jack and Chill, Prefab Sprout and Pete Gammon. Who's he? Find out in part two. <laughs> <laughs> Video view. We are looking at a selection of recent video releases chosen by Susie here. Hello. Now then, let's get on with the next in line. It's from Jack and Chill. Here's their new one. It's called Beating the Heat. I kept wanting to stop it when I was watching it originally, thinking, oh, I've seen that. And it kept kept changing. And that's, that's uh, an example, I think, of something that probably didn't cost much to make. But it's, um, I don't know, I think you can be a lot more creative with uh, extreme limitations. And that's certainly not um, time wasting or anything. It certainly is very much goes with the music. It's a dance song, instrumental. What, what interested you more? Was it the, um, 
the sort of Middle Eastern singing or the house beat behind it? I mean, I thought that the video and the, the yeah. girl would have been more, well, more interesting to you. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm more of a sucker for the Eastern uh, tainted uh, music. Um, and again, beautiful use of uh, her hands. <laughs> 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 but no, I, I, really, I, I really like very colourful videos like that. I think for video, I hate it when they're obviously taken so much too seriously and um, they're treated as film as opposed to videos and I can't stand that. I think that's so short-sighted. You might be referring to the prefab sprout video that comes up a bit later in the show there, Susie. But no, before that, think... before that, we're going to take a look at video number five. Now, before the break, we asked the question, who is Pete Gammon? Well, I don't know much, but one thing I do know is that he's one hell of a funky guy. <laughs> as you are about to discover, watch this one. Woo! <laughs> Money on making an epic. When you can do a fantastic video like that for the price of a pint of bitter and a packet of crisps and rape in some... That's my line you dodgy, stole there, some pint dodgy of bitter, extras, I said. Some dodgy well, extras. Well, I mean... It, I'm floored. My eyes were popping out of my skull. I mean, in a perverse way, that is probably the most entertaining <laughs> video that we've got. I mean, everyone was going... So I, went down a storm what? in here. Yeah. I mean, I can Get remember. back to your cameras! I thought that sort of thing just got phased out in, you know, the mid-70s. Mid um, ah, there, I've got uh -huh. the director's name. <laughs> Find out who was responsible. D. Barry J. Whale, who was beached there, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, I mean, what? I mean, it says it all, really. I mean, ha what is Cliff what hard doing one? there? He should know better, really, shouldn't he? That was, in fact, an old Shadows hit. In fact, they got they got to number seven with that in 1964. But I don't somehow think Pete's going to have quite that. Did you luck. find out the location? I mean, I know. It I didn't was find a out beach. the location. Well, I did find out. Unfortunately, was we it can dear old Blighty. In some ways, <laughs> yes. The way that the one moment it's very sunny, the next minute it was very overcast. Gave a few clues. Oh, that was very sharp of you. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> but there's actually, I'm afraid we can't give you any news of any live dates yet, but there will be some PAs at some of our more leading coastal resorts yeah, to so keep a look at. Prince, you better watch it, mate. Yeah. I mean, do you see yourself, you know, dancing around on the beach to Pete Gammon? You don't strike me as a beach girl yourself, well, Susie. No, I mean, you know, I'm a bit shy. Don't go into of... suntans. No, not really. But yeah. I wonder what, you know, the film, I mean, the extras, I mean, must have gone to that model agency. And... God, yeah. Mm. Well, no expense spent. <laughs> but we're staying pale and interesting here in the studio as we come up to the final video of tonight's video view. Prefab Sprout at number 72 in the charts with Hey Manhattan. <laughs> the torch is over. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, isn't that the most nause... Oh, well, it's just a on, question of taste. Out. It's get just the a question out, of taste. Please. Come but on. I had to watch that with a bucket when I first saw it. It's <laughs> so awful. I mean, the, the sort of... <sighs> it's, it's like halfway between a grimace or a smile, and I'm sure they don't know the difference, and they've never reached a fall either. Mm. And it's just, it's just disgusting, it really is. And they've obviously spent a lot of time... And £39,000. Well, blimey. I, I think Pete Gammons is far more noble than that. Yeah. Oh, Paddy McAloon, I, I saw him on the box the other day oh, say... Oh, Pop's most watchable man. Oh, oh isn't he gross? <laughs> I mean, that is a prime example where you shouldn't see, you know, the, the mind behind the hits or... I mean, I think the music's So what exactly do you object to, the fact that he's very bland and sort of sugary sweet? Well, or... of all the songs about Manhattan, I mean, that doesn't tell me anything about Manhattan. And that's such an insight. It's so half-baked. It's so wishy-washy and whimsical and... <sighs> yeah, they've gone in for the long hair and the linen suits, haven't they? Have oh, you, have you ever... just... I just find it so emotionless. There's no character. It's just... I just find it nauseating. It's quite strange because he was actually raving on about that song supposed to capture that moment of being alive and being fresh and a new, what exciting that is? place. Yeah. God. Yeah, I mean, they look like, you know, they've escaped from Stepford Wives. It's like my worst <laughs> nightmare. It's supermarket music. It's like the trolley sort of floating around, you know, and they're on the top there. Oh, it's horrible. That is the worst. He's a very outspoken man, though, isn't he, old Paddy McAloon? In fact, we, we wanted to get him to come in. I mean, he sort of like speaks, but not on TV. He, he wouldn't do a video view because he didn't want to speak about anybody else's work. Well, I understand that, but, I mean, everyone's got an opinion. I suppose, you know, if you, if you want to be liked by everyone, you know, you don't want to be that honest about things. Now, he's, he said that um, he thinks that Pop's power to change things is now gone. It's finished. I mean, what do you... 
What do you? What would he know? <laughs> Blimey. But uh, uh, with the Banshees, for instance, who have been going for 12 years now, I mean, at, at a time when music looks particularly dead, as we've just witnessed, you know, what do you find stimulates you now when you've had all the excitement of the sort of like the post-punk sort of subculture explosion? What, what, what keeps uh, you? Uh, well, Prince is pretty damned exciting. Yeah, he's hot. There's a yeah. glamour, you know, he's got a brain as well. Mm. I think he, he's brilliant, and I, th I think a lot of um, the house music is very exciting. It really is. Um, that, I, I think that's the spirit of um, certain of that I want to see being kept alive. Mm. Of like, you know, um, it's simple and it's accessible to anyone. <laughs> Shut, Shut up! up. Get, get, get. Shut up, O'Brien. Not yet. Sorry, Susie. It, it's simple and it's. You know, it's accessible to anyone. You don't, you know, you don't have to look like you've studied for it or anything. It's really there for the people that want to take it. One, one last thing, Susan. I mean, obviously the Banshees are back. Great single, great album. I read in the gutter press this week that you've been having some <laughs> cosmetic surgery. <laughs> oh, now, here's your chance can, to disclaim... Can you see my earrings? <laughs> that's why I wore my huge what, earrings. They them off your thighs, that's why, they? <laughs> that's why I was so late. Billy didn't recognise me after the surgery. <laughs> um, but I tell you one thing. If anyone says my eyelashes are false, I'll kill them. Okay, well look out because Susie's on the warpath. Susie, thanks a lot for coming in. It's been great having you in the hot seat. Now then, that's it for this weekend on Video View. I'll be back next week with Donny Osmond. Woo! Stay tuned for, pre for Kiss being performed live in this very studio in less than 15 minutes.